um, we uh, we had the nominations at Tamworth mm -hmm. this year. Um, you know, what were your expectations going into Tamworth? Did you did you expect to win? Obviously, you would have yeah. wanted to win. Oh, it's I an honour to be nominated yes. anyway. With um, I was nominated in two categories: the new talent of the year and female artist. And new talent was something I definitely was aiming for with releasing the album because you know that's to say to the industry you wanted the five best new talents and. I really needed that to be able to carry on, but um, female artist was just almost a bonus, so I kind of didn't worry too much about that one. And yes, I did. I did want to win Mate and New Talent, but um, Kirsty Lee Acres, myself, and three other great talents this year it was a really strong field, and I think none of us really thought that that we'd win. And we just really thought, you know, if you win, it's a bonus. If you don't win, at least you're losing to someone that's. Um, got some talent, so that, that's kind of how it went down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the album is The Mile, uh, Rod and Jeff McCormack, mm -hmm. the two guys who yeah. uh, work with you on this record, how did you do the Yeah, well they, um, they're guys that I met about five years ago, at, uh, four years ago, College of Country Music, we have this thing in Tamworth that you can you go to and study, um, and I was actually producing my album, Glenn Hanna was producing it, um, mm -hmm. Felicity Urquhart's producer, and uh, we just did some email correspondence one day and I said, oh, I need the album finished by this date. And he went, oh, no, I'm not. Schedules clashed. And then he said, well, I've got some friends that might be able to finish it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, who are they? Uh, Rod and Jeff McCormack. So I thought, yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> so uh, in the end, they produced the whole album and, and it was just a pleasure to work with them. And they were amazing and did things to the songs that I couldn't have imagined. So. So, you know, some of the songs are Amber Lawrence songs mm -hmm. and some of the songs are Amber Lawrence co-write yes. songs. So, yep. at, at which point in the song do you feel that you have to bring somebody else in to help you finish it off? Um, I think, hmm, not really sure. I guess the, the co-writes I had were more, we actually just sat down from scratch and wrote the song with um, all the other ones that I wrote myself. We probably only just polished them up in the studio and, um, I, I think with the second album, I'm going to do a lot more co-writes, um, just because you, you can just go different places, and um, I've been all the places I want to go with my own songs on this album, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some new ideas. Yeah. You're doing some interesting things to get your name out there, uh, Chic <laughs> Frontier, let's talk about Chic Frontier. I like that, I'm doing some interesting things yeah. to get my name out well, there. Well, you know, wonder. Chic Frontier was an interesting <laughs> project to yeah. combine, you know, a yeah. couple of your contemporaries and then get out on the road, yeah. so tell us a bit yeah. about that one. Yeah, well, it's still going, and it's myself, Kirsty Lee Acres, Diana Corcoran, and Elise Simmons. And, um, we're kind of the the next tier, I guess, and hope of country music um, singers in in Australia. So we're kind of we're, yeah, we've put a show together. There's four of us, and we, we're touring. We're um, doing quite a lot of stuff around Australia this year. And we do our own stuff, and then we come together and sing together because audiences love that <laughs> when they see four girls on the stage. They think it's heaven, so, <laughs> yeah. The country Spice Girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very true. Sugar and Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> we might, that might become our new name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> country Spice. Yeah, and, and, and you've uh, been you know, touring Victoria with the McClymonts mm -hmm. at the moment, which is yeah. a bit of fun. It's great. Yeah. yeah uh, I actually became friends, I've, been, I've known them for a long time, but more so became friends with the girls last year. We went to East Timor to entertain the troops and um, just really hit it off and, and hence got invited to do some tours with them this year and, and, and it's great to be back in Victoria because uh, country music and that's what we hear every time we come down here. People, country artists don't come down to Melbourne so often so mm -hmm. it's nice to be on the tour with the McClymonts because they're awesome and their crowds are huge so yeah it, it's good to be here. Yeah and it gives you a chance to get out and road test some of those songs. Yeah that's right. What's the audience seem to like most? They like um, Songs, do you mm. know? Yeah, they always like things that bring you down. Yeah. And every time I sing that, someone will come up to me and say, "That song's about my sister." They never <laughs> admit it's about them. They yeah. think, <laughs> I'm like, "It's about my sister too." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about me. <laughs> All right. So uh, the the album, The Mile. Uh, Amber Lawrence, who likes uh, donuts, cappuccinos, and dirty rotten scoundrels. <laughs> well, because you know you said you were still single, you need the guy. The last, no, I'm not the single. last of I'm the just school not friends. Married. Oh, okay. See, I'll get in trouble if the boyfriend watches this. The boyfriend uh, does he like donuts, uh, cappuccinos, and dirty rotten scoundrels as well? I mean, how you're putting this way out of context, yeah. but yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been good to catch up with you here at Undercover. Thanks Thank so you. much.